know One Direction, right? I do know One Direction. Like you're, I saw you like them on Facebook. But follow our guests. <laughs> so follow them on Twitter and everything. Yeah. All right, so we're going to start us off with some jokes. Um, so one Sunday morning, on a morning just like this, a wife went in to wake up her husband and said, it's time to get ready for church. And the husband responds, well, I'm not going. And the wife's like, well, why not? I'm going to give you two reasons. One, they don't like me, and two, I don't like them. And the wife says, well, you have to go, and I'll give you two reasons why. One, you're a 44-year-old man, and two, you're the pastor. Yeah, good. <laughs> good. All right, so there's uh, two boys who are waiting for their mom to uh, uh, make them pancakes, and they were arguing which one was going to uh, get the first pancake. Now, the mom thought this was like a teaching moment, and she said, well, what do you think uh, Jesus would do? And both boys agreed that um, Jesus would let the other person have the first pancake. So the little brother said to the older brother, he says, "Uh, why don't you be Jesus? (laughs) (laughs) After church one morning, a young boy was driving with or was riding with his mother on the way home. She says, mom, I've decided to become a pastor when I grow up. Mom says, well, that's good. I support that decision. But what made you think of that? And the son says, well, I figure if I got to go to church each Sunday, I might as well get paid for it. <laughs> that's good. All right, no more preacher jokes. Those are done. Um, I, got a, I got, a lot more. <laughs> got a lot more. We'll do like some like, cold jokes or something. Okay. It's really cold out. But anyway, this guy prayed, and uh, he said, God, I want to know, like, um, like, just tell me, like, what, what's a million years to you? And God thought about it and said, well, it's a million years is like a second. And he says, well, what's like a million dollars to you? And he goes, it's just like a penny. So the guy said, well, God, can you give me a penny? And um, God said, yeah, just a second. <laughs> All right, one more church joke. It's kind of a high-level joke there. Yeah, <laughs> wait for it. It's so cool. It's a lot know. higher level than this one, yeah. for sure. Uh, if you're new here, you'll notice it gets kind of quiet during church in the sermon. Do you know why, Craig, it gets so quiet during the sermon? Well, I heard it at the first service. I don't really, whatever, I mean... <laughs> People are sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. So we're having communion after, uh, at the end of the worship service. Uh, everyone's invited to God's table. And do you know why um, there's just uh, uh, bread and wine at the meal, the Last Supper? Probably something biblical, I assume. Yeah, it's just because there was guys that were there and it was a potluck. <laughs> mm-hmm. So um, this one's, yeah, this one you got to think on, but... Um, so what do you get when you cross uh, a dyslexic, an insomniac, and an agnostic? Dyslexic and insomniac and agnostic. So you get a person who stays up all night wondering if there's really a dog. <laughs> the rest of you will get that later. It's very funny. It'll, it'll come. Insomnia, <laughs> dyslexia, agnostic, dog. That's, it's funny. All right. A friend of mine got addicted to line dancing. She had to enter a two-step program. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So first grade jokes. Uh, I have a first grader. Like the dyslexic, agnostic, um, insomnia. That, that's not a first grade joke. That's like a like graduate school joke. But um, first grade jokes are good. So do you have any first grade jokes? Do. Um, where does a boat go when it gets sick? Where does a boat go when it gets sick? To the dock. <laughs> good. <laughs> dock. <laughs> I heard somebody said it over here, so that's been a laughy taffy one. I apologize. So let's see. Um, what did the Earth say to the people after the earthquake? Uh, I'm all shook up. No, I don't know. <laughs> that's good, actually. But uh, they said, no, it's all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> fault, fault. There you go. All right, this one's. Uh... The jokes aren't nearly as good when you have to explain them. Yes. Yeah, they should just like, just like, <laughs> laughter should be like on the tip of their tongue. Why did the turtle cross the road? To get to the other side. No, to get to the shell station. (laughs) That's not bad. And why was the archaeologist uh, uh, depressed? Why? Because his career was in ruins. (laughs) All right, Craig. We're getting we're getting near the end. You're you're from (laughs) Craig. You're from Iowa, right? Hey, anybody else from Iowa here? Anybody? Yeah. So not as fast. So the see, you you actually get to leave right after this because you've already like been to church. So uh, already have my time. Yeah. So they're just gonna come. But I'm from Iowa. So uh, these are just aimed at Craig. If you're in Iowa. Yeah. It's not you. It's just at me. Um, Why don't they take coffee breaks in Iowa? Don't know. Takes too long to train them. (laughs) Why can't Iowans eat pickles? Why can't Iowans eat pickles? That I don't know. Because they can't get their head in the jar. Why are Nebraska jokes so, sh- so short? 
Um, why are Nebraska jokes so short? So Iowans can remember them. No, <laughs> good. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah. Are there, like, any old school, like, really old school Nebraska football fans here? Like, Tom Osborne old school, Devaney old school, so. Good. So do you guys remember who Bill McCartney is? He was, like, the coach of what team? Colorado. So this isn't true, but it's just, like, it's, like, Bill, let's just assume that, um, Bill McCartney and Tom Osborne, like, they die at the exact same time. And uh, they're both talking to St. Peter, and St. Peter talks to Bill McCartney first, and he says, you know, Bill, you started that whole promise keeper thing, you did a good job with the kids. Uh, we, we actually have a house over here for you. Most people don't get houses in heaven, but you get a house, and it had, like, the Colorado flag on top, and it was really cool, and Bill McCartney was excited about that, but then he looked over, and he saw this great big red mansion with a big white N on it. And like he says, well, I appreciate the house and everything, but how come Tom Osborne gets this great big mansion? And God looked at Bill McCartney and he says, no, that's not where Tom Osborne lives. That's where I live. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Craig, what's your favorite type of joke? Easily the light bulb joke. It's by far the most classic, uh, pure uh, form of humor. All right, so uh, I got a light bulb joke for you. Good. How many University of Iowa freshmen does it take to change a light bulb? (laughs) Um, I don't know. How many? None. It's a sophomore course. Good. <laughs> it's a junior yeah. course at Iowa State, so yeah. <laughs> you to apply there, too. Yeah. I thought you were going to say at Drake. Go out the back, I thought you were going to say at Drake. It was a senior course. Yeah, but, uh, Drake, it's a graduate level. No, course. we had to take that before we got there. Um, let's see. How many dull people does it take to change a light bulb? How many dull people? Uh, I don't know. Just one. I think that's the funniest of the bunch right there. Like, dull person, you're expecting something really cool, you get one. How many psychiatrists... Did you think it was funny when you it, first read it? It was, it was good. Right. I mean, it's, it's all about the delivery. I mean, you said it much better than I could read it. Yeah, okay. Uh, how many psychiatrists does it take to change a light bulb? Don't know. Only one, but the light bulb really has to want to change. <laughs> And the last one is, uh, how many feminists does it take to change a light bulb? Tread lightly on this one. Yeah, I'm not even going there. Um, <laughs> all right, so there's this one more type of humor, and this is uh, a cold weather humor. And today is like a perfect day for it. It's like cold out. All right. Craig, it is so cold. How cold is it? <laughs> you guys can chime on this one. It is so cold that even ice cubes have goosebumps. <laughs> nice. Okay, it's so cold out. How cold is it? Yeah, it's so cold that people would rather stay inside and listen to Nickelback than go outside. <laughs> All right, say And this, so is the, this is the last joke. We have no more. This is it. Yeah. Darn. All right, uh, it's so cold. How cold is it? That Starbucks is serving coffee on a stick. Nice. All right, let's give it up for Brad Krebs. <laughs> All right, today we're talking about comedy and joy and laughter, um, community, but we also want to acknowledge that, uh, you know, not all of us come in a place that's really light in our heart right now, and um, yeah, I just pray that wherever we are, whether uh, we're just going through a season of blessing, that God just uh, multiplies that blessing and uh, multiplies that joy, and if we are going through a tough time, I pray that, uh, you know, God meets us right where we're at, that God gives us people to uh, just minister to us and care with us and, and pray for us, so... Let's go to God and let us pray. Lord, 